We're very excited to be hosting the 2014 West Coast Conference for Undergraduate Women in Physics here at Berkeley. Um, we have over 160 female undergraduates coming from institutions all around the West Coast. That's uh, California, obviously, Oregon, Washington, Hawaii, and even Alaska. Um, and our goal really is to give these women an opportunity to experience a professional conference, to come and interact with other women in physics at many different levels, other undergraduates, graduates, postdocs, through to faculty and senior scientists, both in academia and in industry. And one of the ideas is to present them with information about potential career paths, both graduate school and in industry, and show them the breadth of opportunities in front of them after a physics degree. The fraction of women in the physical sciences falls off at every stage. That's undergraduate, graduate, postdoc, faculty. Um, and I think there's two challenges that we face. One is uh, the choices that the women themselves are making. And some of those are going into other fields for perfectly uh, good reasons. Some of it is a lack of confidence or a concern about an aggressive male-dominated field. And that's a concern that we need to address. Uh, and then there are real issues with bias. I do think mentorship is very important, particularly for women in smaller institutions, where they may well be the only female physicists in their year or even in their department. Uh, here at UC Berkeley, we're very lucky to have a relatively high fraction of women in the department. We have about 20% of our undergraduate majors are female. And in our last uh, year of intake of graduate students, almost a third were female. That's a record high for us. Um, but that's still pretty low when you consider those numbers. So we want to show that this is something that they can do and encourage them to pursue it if they're interested.